Hello Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot. Here to do your mid-month September check-in. All right. Um, sorry, it's a bit late. I've been really busy, but I want to say thank you so, so much to all of you who have subscribed to the channel and supporting the channel and all you beautiful, beautiful people who've reached out for private readings. I'm getting to speak to people all over the world, which is just amazing helping you supporting you on your journey thank you so much for trusting me with that all right the channel's growing amazing on that note if you haven't already subscribed and you do enjoy it please do subscribe help me keep this channel running okay if you do want a private reading the details on how to do that are below okay Aries general housekeeping it's not going to be for everybody it'll resonate with some of you others it won't yeah it's not your message but if it is or you know someone it would help do like and uh, subscribe and share couldn't get my words out then could i all right gorgeous aries absolutely stunning okay um as i come into it i've got a card flyer it already so let's get moving but um i am going to carry out part two of this on vimeo okay so if you do resonate with this reading if you want to hear more of the story that's coming out today for you some of the messages please do go over there and meet me on there as well okay well straight away aries oh my goodness king of pentacles now Hmm. With the first card out, you always have to just, and lots of tarot readers will tell you, you just have to just take a deep breath and start to receive the messages because it can come through in so many ways. You know, is this another person? Is it you? Yeah, is it an influence in your life? Is it just a general energy at the moment? But Aries, I feel like this is you, and I want to say to you, I am so pleased to see this card. I'll tell you why, Aries, your readings on my channel for months and months and months, look, I've got a fly knocking around, I don't know why it's in there, baby one, okay, uh, it has been absolutely brutal, right, it's been about you not taking back control, you, you've you been at a loss, you feel like you've lost something, it's been all these types of energies, Aries, and I've always felt really bad, because I'm like, I don't feel like I'm giving you a helpful reading, I don't feel like I'm giving you a, you know, positive reading, but I can't change the reading, yeah, I can't change what cards come out, yeah, I'm, I'm a channel, spirit will use me as they use me, all right, so I just have to say it, and sometimes, you know, I, I just feel I just feel like it can be seem a bit harsh and Aries, that's definitely where you've been. You've been being pushed. Look, this fire, see it's getting on my nerves. I had to get rid of it. And that's what I'm that's what I'm, it's it's kind of like what I'm feeling like with you, Aries. Like you you're swatting. You you finally swatting stuff away, swatting through, you know, whether it's other people's emotions, other people's opinions, other people's values of the and i'm not saying other people aren't important they are but the secondary to you right and there is that's just what i'm feeling you're starting to stand in your king of pentacles power you're starting to stand for you and what you mean yeah you're understanding how important you are here you go this is something from your past you know it it keeps coming up, walking away from a situation, but I think someone walked away from you and I don't think you were expecting it. And that's the readings we've had consistently for months for Aries. Yeah, that's what's happened. And you've been on a brand new chapter in your life, right? Aries, you've been on a brand new chapter, a brand new journey. You didn't take a lot with you with the fool here. Can you see it? And remember, I can't make these cards come out yeah i can't make them come out so i'm sorry if you're thinking oh will you move on will you, you know or will you change change the subject or whatever i can't the cards are the cards but you went on a journey here brand new chapter like and it was a lone journey because you can see the fools here yeah absolutely yeah because you focused on your work because you thought this was going to take you to the ten of pentacles and it didn't and the valuable lesson you've learned is that you were tricked by a knight of wands Aries, you know it, I can see it, King of Pentacles has had something walk away from the life that sent them on a brand new chapter towards the Ten of Pentacles, but some sneaky little energy uh, trickster, yeah, it's like when I get the Knight of Wands, right, I have to say it, when I get the Knight of Wands, it's like the card of fraud for me, this is the con man, this is the person that will come in 
con man or woman by the way who'll come in and tell you this that the other yeah honestly believe me trust me you can believe it it's the truth it's happening yeah come with me i will take you to your ten of pentacles and the king of pentacles followed it and what they did it's not worked out Aries for you and we know this we know this is consistent but what is beautiful about your reading is you are standing now back into your king of pentacles power Aries whoever I'm connecting with right now is feeling down he's feeling a little bit broken yeah just 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 why you know feel like I want to say you know you, you're still harboring over to some and it's a little degree now where you uh, know you made a wrong decision yeah I do feel it's to do with finances right I do I do feel that as a consequence of that you probably lost love you probably lost lost lots of other things but definitely the dominant energy here is finances right and what I'm wanting to say to you is, you will recover. You will recover. You've got the Eight of Pentacles here. This is becoming a master of your craft. It, 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 it's saying there is another way. There is another way. Sorry about her. My nose. There is another way. Yeah. Look for it. Because that's what the King of Pentacles does, Aries. Yeah. They look for the opportunity. They look for how to get themselves out. They're a warrior energy. Yeah, and they say, oh, shit, I'm down. You know, I'm down. There's a story, isn't there? And I can't, I mean, forgive me, I can't remember the guy's name, but basically he, he was doing a, a, like, a, it's going to say really rubbish this because I should, should know names and locations and I don't, I can't remember. But I loved the principle of the story. And they climbed, it was like a big snowy mountain, they were on with this big quest, and basically got caught by an avalanche that all of their body survived by their arm. And their arm was locked under the snow. I'm sure it's Quinn Holiday who does this story, is amazing, uh, who tells the story in terms of some of his theories. And locked under the snow. And they kept trying to get out and get out and they couldn't get out, right? And yet they knew if they stayed there, they could die, right? But what they did is they went through the pain of the process of, they realised, they turned the thinking round and said, well, I could stay here where I can't move and, 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 and eventually, you know, the worst is going to happen, I'll die. Or I go through the pain of cutting my arm off. Because if I cut my arm off, I'll be free. Now, I'm not suggesting any of you go out and start doing those sorts of trickeries, right? But what I'm saying is, do you see the thought principle behind it? Wherever the blocker is, you can move it. Even if you move forward, feeling a bit broken at first, feeling a bit difficult at first, yeah, you absolutely know you remove that pain, yeah, you remove what's holding you back and you power forward. And Aries, that's what I'm getting for you. You're absolutely standing in your power right now. I don't know why Nala's feeling the need to make her presence known right now. Sorry about that. She snuck in. All right. Absolutely gorgeous. There is you. You're flying. Here we go. Right. Let me get it. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Communication. Yeah. Whatever it is you're trying to pull back from and get in the right space again, you're being encouraged by spirit to communicate and it's coming under this Eight of Cups, right? Can you see it? It's coming under this Eight of Cups, yeah? You, you, whatever it is you left behind, Aries, that, that because some, some trickster convinced you to move forward in a different way, in a different manner, yeah? Don't think that's it. You can return and i don't mean you can return to where things were we keep getting this consistently for you and i try to be really careful because well i can't help the cards that come out i can't help the cards that come out they are what they are i'm just reading but you, whether it's just yeah that you need to go and speak to some people I don't even know Aries. i'm getting that maybe you borrowed some money there's something in your past that keeps anchoring you back and you and you know spirit saying you can be your king of pentacles again you are the king of pentacles but you've been through a battle you got it's like you're on your traveler's path and the knight of wands come in right and absolutely knocked you off your path 
right? That's what I've got. Yeah, mm -hmm. you thought you were going to your glory, your ten of pentacles, and the knight came along and absolutely kicked you off your path. And I mean kicked you. Right, but you're being told by spirit, focus on your craft, focus on what you know. Do your communications. Don't stay hide, hidden away or locked away in a bad energy. Get yourself out there. You've got to do your healing. Because whether you feel it right now or is or not, honestly, yeah. this was meant to happen. It was meant to happen. It was part of your growth. Can you see? Here, the fool. It's coming under the fool. So this is the two only majors on the board. And look how strong they are. <coughs> it's Nala. I'm sorry. It's the fool to the star. Okay, Aries. It's the fool to the star. It's the absolute healing of what you've just been through on this path. But your traveller's path is not finished you're still on it yeah you've still got lots to learn lots to do lots to see lots of amazing stuff the star is all about wish fulfillment all right so if you trust in the process that's what i'm getting told if you trust in the process that you're going through right here it comes yeah you'll get back in a place of love happiness and joy king of cups is in the flow of the universe they don't lock away they don't hide behind the scenes. They're absolutely in the flow of the universe and they've got a massive cup of love to offer to someone. And Aries, that is so you. That is absolutely so you. That's coming under your ten of pentacles. I feel like you're realising what you thought was all golden and shiny, yeah, was going to be the everything in your life that was going to take you to your king of corps energy. Turned out not to be. All right, turned out not to be. But it's because a knight of wands come to test you on your path and unfortunately they managed to bowl you over, Aries. Well, no more. You're moving out. You're moving into a new place in your life. You see through the lies and deceit. Can you see how powerful your reading is, Aries? It's coming under the knight of wands here. Absolutely bloody stunning. Yeah, this is what's happening right now. You've seen it. You know it for what it is. You're moving out and you're starting. Aries, for some of you, honestly, your readings have been brutal. But for some of you, you are actually now starting to recognise what is valuable, what isn't. What's the real gold, yeah? Versus that, you know, the coin, the material. Material's material, yeah? You're starting to really move into your spiritual energy, your spiritual growth. And quite frankly, Aries, your spiritual awakening. Absolutely stunning energy gorgeous keep strong just know you will recover and believe you me when you trust the universe you'll be amazed at the gifts it brings my darlings i'm going to carry it on in, in part two over on vimeo okay for those who've really enjoyed the reading thank you so much i hope it helped if you haven't already please do subscribe to the channel help me keep it running but other than that if i don't see you on vimeo i will see you in october er is just gorgeous